We just arrived. Look at the madness, the melee in this place. Touchdown. Who do you support? Go England. England? Yeah, we can do a picture. Let's do a picture. Now you can start feeling the vibe of the World Cup. This is where it starts. Then emotions start coming out. I can't wait. Who do you support? We turn around. Turn around. Let me see. Oh my God! I need to take a picture with you. Turn around. Let me see who this team is. Let's see your team. Mo Salah, man. This is Egypt. Mo Salah. I forgot to tell you that the last time I was here, I touched down in Moscow. I went back on the plane with a Champions League trophy and a medal. Didn't want to mention it anymore, but it's a fact. First game today, massive. Spain versus Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ramos, Iniesta, his last World Cup. Let's go, man. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Following these guys, look. Look at Bashira. I tell you, things don't change. 50 factor on that head. I was pleased yesterday that Russia won the first game. The longer the hosts stay in, the better keeps the place going, keeps people positive. I want to see celebration. I want to see people having a good time. Let's see what they got, man. Right, are we finished? How many more pictures do you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My cameraman's out there right near the Red Square trying to find these Portuguese and Spanish fans but he's been surrounded he told me by the boys in blue and white. Ronaldo gonna go 1-0 up. Ronaldo and Diego Costa, man. They're on it. They love it. Spain versus Portugal. Wow, what a game. Well, Ronaldo versus Spain, that's what it was. The guy just produced the moments. Hat trick, first game. You know what, when you go in the first game at a World Cup, yeah, you're nervous. Don't give, I don't care what you say, there's a nervous energy around a squad normally. My man went in there and banged in a hat trick like it was nothing. Now the pressure's on Messi. What's he gonna do? I want Messi to bang in a hat trick tomorrow and say, you know what, I'm here. This is what we're about. I'm matching you stride for stride. This is what they've done all their careers. Roll on tomorrow. Argentina versus Iceland. Let's see what they've got. Messi, what are you saying? What have you got? <laughs> Yes, people, I'm here walking down the road, Moscow. I know Messi didn't sleep last night. Messi thinking, what can I do? What do I do now? Iceland versus Argentina today. Messi, you must stand up. <laughs> so the guys, they went filming with the Icelandic fans. 
who are known as being heavy hitters in the fan world. But the Argentinians overpowered them. They took them to the sword. There's something about the Argentinians, they're loud. They're happy. They're friendly. They even started singing Icelandic songs. Just to make it like a nice jovial atmosphere. This is what they do. That's real fans, man. That's real the way fans do. Get together, enjoy it. Argentina won, Iceland won. Now who would have thought that? Also, what I read, what I found out after, the fella that actually saved Messi's penalty was a part-time film director. Like, that's, that's what these World Cups throw up. It's a madness. It's England versus Tunisia. Listen, look at this smile. I am buzzing. I can't wait. We need to get off to a good start. We will come on, England. Usually, I'm going up to the fan park. I'm going to the studio. Take it easy. England have won, we've just got three points. First game, imagine that, Imagine what it would have been like if we hadn't won that and just drawed it. Got the three points, Harry Kane getting the two goals. That's what it's all about, it could have been anyone else. Anyone else could have scored them with the 1-2-1. One, Wouldn't have been the same, but our goal scorer, our talisman, our leader, has got us the two goals, so now we are on track. Harry Kane is one of our own! But listen, we created chances. Other days, we'll score three, three, four goals that day. Now, going forward to Panama, I'd change it up. We're going to beat him, we're going to batter him anyway. Change it up. Vardy, let him get a goal in. Rashford, Loftus-Cheek came on. The two subs made, made an impact. You know what I mean? Give people a rest, because fatigue will play its part, trust me. Versus England. We're off to the stadium to see what's going down. Let's go. Hans Rodin is a busted down coach <laughs> in Russia, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Let's go. Well, if it's not 8 0, then it's 9 0. You know what I mean? Harry came with three. Rashford to come on, bang four. Two from the goalkeeper. I think England will win, I think we'll, we'll do it. I think we'll beat them two or three nil. Hopefully we just get an early goal, make it easy work, which it should be. England versus Panama. I'll tell you what, I'm loving the team I'm seeing so far. We are more than capable of dismantling this Panama side.
is complete. The mission is complete. England have beaten Panama 6-1. The Panama fans, when they scored, yo, they were lit, man. They were lit. Whoa, England 6, Panama 1. Gal? Unbelievable stuff, oh. right? Great stuff. Are we going to win it or what? I can't see anyone getting close to us now. <laughs> it's inevitable. It's Harry, Harry Kane. There's only a couple of people that have scored, or three people that have scored hat tricks for England in the World Cup. You? Jeff Hurst. Jeff Hurst. He did Harry do Kane. it in the World Cup fine. Yeah, that's different. So it's a bit of a difference, but it's great. Let's hope he gets the golden boot. If he gets the golden boot, it means England are doing well. Mm, exactly. Right. Come on, England. Let's go. <laughs> Happy the result? I'm really happy, mate. Really good. Great performance from the lads. Who was your man in the match? Jesse Lingard. Reminiscent of the young Lampard, the young Lampard. Yeah, the quicker than me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got one more World Cup goal for <laughs> Right, it's early morning here in Moscow. Flight is waiting for me, but I'm going to show you the London perspective. I'm going to show you what it's like from London to watch England versus Belgium. I'm going for an England 3 1 win. I don't care now. They got my hopes up. Come on, England. <laughs> right, we're here. England versus Belgium. What do you want? Go on, what do you want? 3-1. 3-1. 3-1 England. 3-2. England. England. I'm, I'm going 2-1 England. England. Dad, what are you going for? 2-1. Alright, I'm going 2-0 England. Boom. Let's go, man. Game time. Belgium, England, let's go. England all the way, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> England have just lost 1-0 versus Belgium, man. We're playing Colombia. I'm gonna show I would have rather played Japan next game, if I'm honest. Colombia's gonna be a tough, tough game. South American team playing in that heat. All good on the ball, good athletes in that team. I'm worried, man. I don't know, I think we can still do something, but boy, we need big H up front, man, to be rocking. We're into the last 16. Germany are not there. What's happened to Germany, man? Listen, to be fair, the Germans have smashed it the last few years, so it's about time they didn't win, win something else. But Serbia, Poland, I expected a bit more out of Poland with um, Lewandowski up front. Listen, yeah, if you don't want to see more, make sure you subscribe to Real Ferdinand Presents 5 and you will see what's going down at this World Cup. Last 16, here we come.